Are you new to photography and struggling to get to grips with the autofocus system? Well, don't worry. It's easy once you know how. I'm Phil Riley, and if you want to focus on the image and become a better photographer, then hit the subscribe button now and the notifications bell to be the first to hear more photography talk from me. Now, I've had a question here on the channel from Ange, who asks, I wonder if you could tell me the best way to get off autofocus. I've got a bridge camera, she said, and it seems like a waste of the camera's abilities. Well, Ange, thank you for your question, and you're not on your own. A lot of people do struggle with this uh, when they first pick up a camera. I'm going to have to ask though, Ange, are you sure you want to get off autofocus? You see, most professionals use autofocus now. It's so quick, and there's no way you're going to be able to focus that camera anywhere near as fast or accurately as a modern autofocus system. But if the AF setting on your camera isn't right, then that may be holding you back. The first thing to check is which mode your AF is in. Now, somewhere on the camera you'll find an AF setting and it'll be marked M, S and C. M's for manual, so the AF is turned off completely. C is for continual, where the camera is continually tracking the object and altering focus all the time to keep it sharp. That's very useful if you're photographing moving objects like a car or a bird in flight or sports action, or if you're shooting video. But the setting most useful to you is S, which stands for single. And that means when you press the shutter release button halfway, and that's the button you use to take the pictures, your autofocus will snap to whatever's in the center of your frame. And once it's locked onto that focus, it won't refocus like it would in continual mode until you release the button or you continue pressing the, the button down and taking the picture. It means that once you've pressed halfway, you get a focus lock. And if you keep your finger there, you can now move the frame around. And even if the subject isn't in the middle of the frame anymore, but at the side, it'll still stay sharp. This is a technique you need to use if you're photographing two people, because if they stand together, the middle of the picture is in between them. And so the autofocus beam is just gonna sail through the middle and miss them completely. So your photo will have blurry people, but a nice sharp background. When you're beginning, it's a good idea to practice focus locking at home. Focus on an object and then move the camera so that the object is still sharp, but now at the side of the picture. Your camera will probably have something called face detection. And when that's switched on, it'll always lock onto faces to prevent them from being blurry. But when you go out to photograph things other than people, make sure you switch it off or it might start locking onto passers-by and not your subject. That can be infuriating. I don't use face detection. I like control of what I'm focusing on. So single mode autofocus gives me that. If you're convinced you do want to try manual focus, then it's easy with a camera lens that has got a physical focusing ring that you twist around. What you see through the viewfinder is what you get. You mentioned though you have a bridge camera, which may have an inbuilt lens with no physical focus ring. Focusing here is usually done electronically with buttons and that allows you to shift the focus. It's much slower though. Okay, if you're doing tripod work, but not really an option for run and gun photography. Oh, one more thing, cameras also have a function to move the AF target. And that means you can shift it over to the subject. It may be an age thing, but I always forget to put it back. So I leave mine in the center and just lock and move every time. With a bit of practice, it does become instinctive. Remember the first time you got into a car and was learning to drive and you had to shift the gear and you thought, how can I ever do this? And now you do it without even thinking. Muscle memory takes over. That's the same thing as focus locking. Thanks for your question, Ange. I hope that's helped. And if you or anybody else has got any more questions, just leave them in the comments section and I'll try my best to answer them all. Enjoy your photography, everyone. And don't forget, you're only as good as your last picture.